President Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden on the ground in Puerto Rico today, where power and water still not fully restored four weeks after Hurricane Fiona. ABC's Mary Bruce traveling with the president who told Puerto Rico today he's committed to the island. President Biden set off for Puerto Rico today, eager to assure people here that they have not been forgotten. They haven't been taken very good care of. They've been trying like hell to catch up from the last hurricane. It's been five years since Hurricane Maria killed roughly 3,000 people. A lot of badly needed aid then held up by the Trump administration. Two weeks ago, Puerto Rico hit again. Hurricane Fiona knocking out power across the island. Tonight, some 100,000 households remain in the dark. So many lives uprooted. Neri Aruno grows emotional, telling me all she has is what she could carry with her. Everything she left behind, now destroyed. Right now, I don't know what to do, she says. The government right now only cares about themselves. They care about the people that have money. President Biden has already pledged $2 billion to help rebuild. Today, he announced an additional $60 million. I'm determined to help Puerto Rico build faster than in the past and stronger and better prepared for the future. So important not to forget Puerto Rico got hammered by Fiona weeks ago and Mary, the president. Uh, he travels now to Florida on Wednesday after Hurricane Ian. David, the president will be getting a firsthand look at the devastation and recovery effort there on Wednesday. One big question, though, will he meet with rival Republican Governor Ron DeSantis? Tonight, the White House isn't saying, but they are stressing this is not about politics. It's about the people of Florida. David. Yeah, really, both sides have said state and federal government are working as one after this hurricane. Mary, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.